White House Road by Tyler Childers is capoed on the fifth fret and is in drop D, meaning that you take this lowest sixth string and you would drop it to, assuming that the capo is not on here, down to a D. I also believe that this song, the version that I listened to, I believe it to be in double drop D, meaning that you take not just the sixth string, but also the first string and drop it to D. So that first string, which is typically tuned to an E as well. So I could be wrong about this second drop D here on the first string, but um, listening to it and watching him play, I'm almost certain that he's also got this first string tuned to drop D. So that's, uh, you definitely need to tune down your sixth string to drop D, and tuning the first drop D will just help enhance the sound. So those are the first things you know for the song. Double drop D, cape on the fifth fret. It's going to be based around a D chord, which you will not make a standard D chord you will just put your first finger on the third string second fret and your ring finger on the second string third fret you will leave the first to ring open because it's a D and then you will just strum across everything else you need to know that chord the next is going to be a version of a C chord where you will take your second finger and place it on the fifth string third fret you can leave uh, your ring finger where it's at on the second string third fret and you can also allow everything else to ring open And then the third chord is going to be a version of a G which you will make by um, It's probably okay to just fret The sixth string relative fifth fret to make that G if you wanted to throw down your ring finger on the fifth string fifth fret behind it to flesh it out a little bit you could do that as well but um, sixth string, fifth fret. Sometimes I'll also take my first finger and put it up here on the second string, third fret. And keep in mind, you can let your high first ring out throughout this entire song because we've got it tuned down to a D. So those are the chords. The rhythm that you'll need to know is just a really chunky, kind of driving straightforward rhythm. Really straightforward but driving chunky rhythm. So that's the rhythm that I'm playing through the whole thing. The opening of this song, and this is not, uh, I'm not basing this off the album version, I'm basing this off of a live acoustic version that I heard Tyler Childers do. It will open with a big open D chord, and then he's going to use a second finger to fret down onto the fourth string, third fret, our respective F, and then pull off. And you want to get a. first part is that little pull off on the F with your second finger and then you're going to move that same motion with your second finger to the fifth string third fret pull off put it back on pull off again and you get that sound that I just played a second ago the down right there you move to the C chord and then you move to the G chord and the way that Tyler moves to the G chord in most all of these transitions is to hit first on the sixth string third fret to hit this uh, again it would be a relative F note to us because the sixth string is tuned down in drop D formation so strike that string and slide up two frets to the G formation which would be sixth string fifth fret and it comes together like and you're hitting that F on or you're hitting the F that you pull up in the G on an up note and then you 
pull up into the downbeat. So really, whenever I come up to that G, I'm not really striking back down on the strum. I'm just letting the, uh, the slide emphasis into the G act as the downbeat. And that's what he does pretty much for the entire song. Whenever it goes to the verse, the verse is drawn on the D for longer. And you can hear him doing a hammer on where you pick up your first finger, exposing the open third string, and then slamming it back down onto the third string second fret. that happens on upbeats as well, like you're strumming through the chord. So it's happening on like up strum. So it drones on the D for longer during the verses, but then just goes right back to the C and back up into the G. Whenever it gets to the chorus, it does again the exact same movement. The one slight difference in the chorus is that whenever it slides up to the G, it hits back down into this F before going to the C, like. So you would, after the G, in the last part of those beats, you would open up the sixth string and put your second finger down on the third fret of the sixth string, slightly pull it. It doesn't have to be real, uh, a real exaggerated pull. I just pull it a little bit and then back in the D. And that would come together like that. Whenever it gets to the bridge at the very end of the song, the bridge is to just drone on a G for a while. Where he's singing about uh, same old blues, different day, I believe. You're just droning on a G chord. And again, you can play that G chord with just one finger if you wanted to. I'm taking it and playing with two fingers, ring finger on the sixth string, respective fifth fret, uh, first finger on the second string, respective third fret. I'm blocking out the fifth string, but everything else can ring open. And then it goes back into the main riff, the chorus riff. And those are the chords to White House Road.